Hello everybody. I'm going out to the theatre in a few minutes so I'm just having a little drink first and I thought I'd pop on and say hello to you all and let you know how I've been getting on. As you can probably see I'm feeling pretty good at the moment. I think I'm quite over the Bobby, Billy, Charlie de Bacla and life is moving on. In fact I've been very busy lately what with the run-up to the elections, which in Bridland led to a positive hotbed of political intrigue. Oh my goodness me. Personally, I found it very amusing watching all these anti-European MEPs trying to get to Brussels, like feminists booking a mini-break in Saudi Arabia. But each to their own. I must admit, Maureen and I did have a bit of a falling out over UKIP. I said to her, you and Derek are perfectly happy to sit in your nice warm car in winter and let a bunch of random East Europeans buff and polish your chassis. Well, she didn't have an answer to that. But anyway, life's too short and in any case Maureen and I are tweezer buddies and you don't know who's a tweezer buddy. We have made each other a solemn promise that if either of us ever ends up in hospital, the other one will come in and pluck chin hairs surreptitiously for 10 minutes a week so that we don't wake up looking like something out of a Victorian freak show. And there aren't many people I'd let near me with tweezers, I can tell you. Anyway, I care more about facial hair than I do about politics. So that's that. Although I do wind her up by asking how Mr Farage is. I said to Maureen, I don't think he'd want people pronouncing it the French way and thinking he was as far as his wife. We've been on a couple of short breaks. We went up to London to see Angela Lansbury in Blythe Spirit. Oh, she was wonderful. She's nearly 90 years old. And although she didn't solve any murders, she threw herself around the stage for a couple of hours to such comic effect that Maureen told me afterwards. She was very glad that she popped in a tenor lady last minute before we went in. Oh, it was wonderful. We cheered and laughed and clapped and ate chips on the way home. We also went to Whitby, which was very nice. I haven't been to the seaside for a very long time. We stayed in a lovely little bed and breakfast on the hill. It was only 10 minutes walk into town. Well, 40 minutes back up again, but you don't bother about that, do you? Very pretty little place, but I didn't think much of the clothes shops. They're all black and purple and leather and very dark. And I like a bit of colour. But Maureen, of course, being Maureen, insisted on trying on a violet leather bodice. Well... Tight as tight as you can, she tells me. So I did. It took me five minutes pulling and tying and tightening the knots until she looked like Betty Boop. Well, she thought she did. I won't say what I thought she looked like. Anyway, unfortunately, all was going well until she breathed out and all the knots tightened and she couldn't get any of them undone. We had to call the manager for assistance and it took her and two of the staff ten minutes to extricate Maureen, by which time her face was more purple than the bodice. So I hope she's learnt a lesson. I doubt it. Oh, I also went to see my cousin Elsie in Nettleton. And she tried to persuade me to get a webcam. Well, she logged on to her internet dating site. And she said, oh, I know this gentleman. Let's try him. So she presses a couple of buttons. Up pops a screen. And my goodness me, in my naivety, I genuinely thought it was a man stroking a pet python. Oh, I said to Elsie, I didn't know they could get that big. Anyway, she quickly turned it off very quickly and deleted him. And we had a cup of tea to, to calm down a bit. But, oh, my goodness me, I'll tell you what. I am not getting a webcam. No way. Imagine if somebody rang while you were in the shower and all your bits were dangling out and dripping. Oh my goodness me. 
anyway I have however decided to persevere with internet dating I've joined a different site from my cousin Elsie and Maureen was very intrigued to see that I've attracted quite a lot of interest from younger men oh try one of them she says go on a date with one of them she says I don't think I'd have a lot in common with a 19 year old and anyway, I'm not entirely sure that we have the same aims in dating. Some of their emails are very explicit indeed. Not what you want to read before breakfast. But I do have a couple of dates lined up. One is with a farmer who lives about 20 miles away. And we're going to meet for afternoon tea so that he can get back for evening milking. I must admit... I think I'm going to find it quite strange sitting across the table from a man who I know in two hours time is going to be in a shed full of cow's nipples but I'm going to try and banish such thoughts from my mind he might be perfectly nice for all I know and then there's another man he's a retired gentleman and I think he's possibly a little bit old for me but I liked what he wrote he said he was quite submissive and I thought after the year I've had I could do with just a quiet evening with somebody making no demands on me whatsoever. So that could be quite restful. I'll see how it goes. Anyway, I really have to go now. It's the opening night of the Ridland Plays production of Grease and Maureen is playing the leader of the Pink Ladies. Ridland Players have never let realism get in the way of their casting. I'm hoping for the best, but to be honest, I'm fearing the worst. However, as always, I shall tell Maureen she is unforgettable. It works for any role she's ever played and it leaves her perfectly content. And you never know, there might be somebody nice in the audience and there is a bar at the interval, so all is not lost. I hope you are having a lovely summer. And I shall get back to you as soon as something exciting has happened to tell you about. Cheers! <laughs>